what's up guys welcome back to the channel as always i'm your co-host donovan quick and before we get started i want to let you guys know go check out the playlist miami dolphins 2024 draft class you'll get all the udfa videos as well as all the draft pick videos and if you haven't already turn on your notifications get notifications for when uh we drop these udfa videos so that way you'll be able to stay in the know all right so this guy is gavin hardinson from utep he's a quarterback now look he is injured he's coming off tommy john surgery in november so he's probably not going to be ready for rookie minicamp so this makes a little bit less sense than you know maybe i'm used to especially with uh, other quarterbacks out there that we probably could have signed uh undrafted wise but Look, he, he has a lot of arm talent, but once again, the arm talent comes back with a big question mark because it's like, okay, how much arm talent can he really have coming off of that Tommy John surgery? Um, it His strong arm and his arm talent also made up for a lot of sloppy techniques and, you know, just bonehead moves. Uh, he had 40 touchdowns uh, with... I'm sorry, 44 touch... Yeah, no, 40 touchdowns with 33 interceptions... So 40 to 33 ratio, I'm not too fond of that. A uh, little under 8,000 yards in 35 games over his five seasons at uh, at quarterback for the UTEP Miners. I'm not a big fan of this signing, um, honestly. Um, a lot of people, including myself, thought maybe the Dolphins would go out and sign Talia Tungavailoa uh, to his little brother, um, who has the all-time record for leading Big Ten passing yards. And... People want to say, oh, well, he's five years. Okay, he, he barely played at Alabama, and it just happened to count as a year. Uh, and then he had four years as a starter in Maryland, and he played very, very well. Um, it's kind of surprising that he went undrafted, but he didn't have a good pro day, wasn't invited to the Combine, was trying to actually transfer out of Maryland uh, before uh uh, they denied his uh his fifth or his sixth year um so yeah that that's why we're not signing talia and well this this guy as well but also it could be a possible distraction if talia ends up getting cut to tua so that's uh that's probably the reason we didn't sign talia but this guy he looks like a candidate that if he is not physically ready we can go ahead and throw him on either the pup list or uh or the ir list and look he's not going to count against you know our roster spot we'll be able to kind of keep an eye on him and develop him in-house for a year and then next year uh kind of see what he can do he is 24 years old uh gavin is but look he only had a college completion percentage of 53.3 and it's very very rare that anybody under 55 percent completion percentage even gets a look that just that just shows how much arm talent he had before he got hurt uh he does have a lot of bad habits um that maybe the dolphins are, are willing to be like hey look let's take a chance on this guy let's you know we'll try to break some of his bad habits um, Mike White's contract is up after this year. I believe Skylar Thompson still has a year remaining after this year. Um, so we're going to need a new backup quarterback fairly soon, especially with how big Tua's contract is going to be. This guy looks like maybe he's going to be a, a third next year, could possibly step up into a, a backup role if Skylar Thompson leaves after um, next year. But who knows? I, I am not completely mad at the signing. I am kind of befuddled by it um personally speaking with him having tommy john in november i know uh i know that's brock purdy made it back on time but that, that's just not the same i i think a lot of people uh a lot, a lot of people especially throwers uh with big arms take at least nine to ten to twelve months actually so i don't think he'll be ready for mini camp at all um i do think he's a candidate to go on ir pup uh something like that to where the dolphins can kind of stash him for a year um i don't think that he's going to have a shot really to compete in any preseason games or anything like that um but yeah let me know what you guys think about this guy in the comments below if you guys watched him at all i had a really tough time trying to find his uh his uh breakdowns and his numbers and his draft profile 
um but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh what do you guys think don't forget notifications turn them on for the future udfa videos deuces